Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Carter's Threat, Ivy and Electra's Win, Ridge's Dicey Mission. The Bold and the Beautiful is officially here. In today's episode, Carter Walton issues a threat. Ivy Forrester and Electra Forrester celebrate a triumph. General Hospital highlights. Plus, Ridge Forrester has to impart some news to Steffi Forrester Finnegan. The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi Forrester Finnegan's Confrontation. BNB reveals that the episode begins with Steffi demanding answers from Carter, Hope Logan, and Brooke Logan. Brooke covers and says they were discussing Carter's proposal. Steffi says she was just talking to Ridge about it. Carter wants to know what Ridge said. Eric Forrester tells Ridge that he respects Carter and values his opinion. Eric feels strange about not going along with this idea of Carter's. Eric says it's very ambitious, but it's not right for Forrester creations. Ivy and Electra show up, hugging Ridge and Eric. Eric believes the more Foresters that are here, the better. Ridge asks about the jewelry line. Ivy makes it clear that she's doing it with Electra's assistance. Eric suggests Ivy and Electra pitch to Ridge. Ivy and Electra seem pleasantly surprised. Ridge would love to hear what they have to say. Ivy replies, even though your daughter already turned it down? BNB Carter Walton's debate. Carter and Steffi debate about the luxury idea as Brooke and Hope listen. Hope chimes into Carter's defense. Steffi thinks she understands what's going on. Steffi says that she understands that they don't see eye to eye all the time. However, Steffi warns Carter to be careful with Hope. Steffi says the only reason Hope is backing Carter is to keep HFTF alive. Hope is offended. Brooke sides with Hope. Steffi says she is still Carter's friend and is looking out for him. Hope says that she is also Carter's friend and that's why she supports him. Now Carter is offended and isn't weak-minded. Also read, the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Eric's decision usually wins, Ridge and Steffi bow? They all continue debating about Carter's pitch. Steffi says Eric and Ridge admire Carter's professionalism, but what he desires is a tall order. Carter intends on showing Ridge and Eric the years of research he's done, right down to the last decimal. Steffi abruptly asks to speak to Hope alone. Carter and Brooke depart. Ivy already has a business plan and sketches. Then Carter called Ivy, and she believed it was all coming together. Ivy tells Ridge that she knows Steffi is his daughter. However, Ivy believes that Steffi is letting their personal history cloud her business judgment. Ridge looks at Eric, then asks Ivy if she has her portfolio. Ivy smiles and hands it to Ridge. Carter and Brooke are alone. Carter didn't want Brooke to find out this way. Brooke says Hope's life has been in shambles recently. Carter assures Brooke that he's not Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, or Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, he cares about Hope and would never hurt her. Carter believes he can be the type of man that Hope deserves. Steffi wants to know what's going on between Hope and Carter. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Ivy Forrester and Elector Forrester's win. The bold and the beautiful recap reveals that Ridge is impressed. Ivy credits Electra. Eric says that it seems Ivy learned a lot from Quinn Fuller Forrester. Ivy tells Eric and Ridge how she intends to turn this jewelry line into something unique. Ridge says it's very distinct from the jewelry pieces they had before, but he says it positively. Ivy says she can change her style to mirror Quinn's if that's what they want. Ridge says it's not necessary and hands the portfolio back to Ivy. The jewelry designer takes it as a no and thanks Ridge and Eric. Ridge asks Eric what he thinks about resuming the jewelry line. Ridge thinks it would be a good notion. Eric believes it would be a big mistake not to restart the jewelry line. Ivy's mouth drops open and Electra's eyebrows shoot up abruptly. Ivy can't believe it. Ivy and Electra are so thrilled. Ivy questions what they do about Steffi. Ridge assures Ivy and Electra that he will speak to Steffi. Eric boldly declares with arms outstretched, Now, this is how you build a legacy. Carter gushes to Brooke about hope. 
Brooke knows Carter cares about Hope, but she's having a very hard time right now. They speak about Liam and the kiss with Thomas. Carter is surprised that Brooke doesn't believe that Hope loved Thomas. Brooke clarifies that Hope liked the loyalty she received from Thomas. Brooke brings up Steffi's vendetta against Hope. Also read, BNB spoilers, Brooke's sighting changes the game, Hope sets new course? Brooke says everything is personal with Steffi, so if he wants to be with Hope, he can't vacillate at all. Carter resolves to be that and more for Hope. Brooke beams. Hope plays stupid. Hope says they are acquaintances and colleagues. They debate about Carter's instincts. Hope says that Carter has big ideas, and maybe he didn't propose them before, because they would fall on deaf ears. Steffi's fury intensifies, and her tone sharpens. Steffi replies that Carter and his ideas have always been heard. They dispute about believing in Carter. Steffi wants to know if Hope is supporting Carter just to get HFTF off the execution block. BNB Recap, Tuesday, October 29, 2024 Ridge and Brooke Embrace this is day three of Brooke donning those shiny red leather pants. Ridge brings up Ivy and Electra. Ridge says Ivy's portfolio is very good. Ridge informs Brooke about the jewelry line. Ridge assures Brooke he will speak to Steffi. Brooke asks Ridge if he could also speak to Steffi about the repeated threats against Hope. Ridge is irritated. Ridge says it's just business. Ridge wants HFTF to succeed and says Steffi does too. Brooke implies that Steffi's personal life might be affecting her business judgment. Also read, The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, Will Steffi Forrester Take on a New Job Offer? Ridge says that the encounter with John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, Finn, just can't happen again. Brooke promises that it won't. Brooke informs Ridge that Hope is no longer interested in Finn. Hope doesn't like the allegations. Steffi wishes to know if the rumors are true. Steffi accuses Hope of using Thomas. Steffi then brings up Finn. Hope's apologies mean nothing to Steffi. Hope doesn't know what else to say or do. Carter discreetly opens the door and hears Steffi tell Hope, the only reason your line is alive right now is because of me. Steffi then inches closer to Hope and says if anything occurs with Finn again, Hope's line is gone. Carter interrupts and surprised Steffi by saying, enough. Steffi, are you using your influence to threaten Hope? Carter lectures Steffi about using her position of authority to discipline Hope. Carter passionately believes that the Forrester slash Logan nonsense is hurting the company. Carter tells Steffi to start appreciating the contributions Hope and Brooke have made over the years, because it's Steffi and the Forrester family that is benefiting from those contributions. Boohoo. The tension can be felt through the screen. Steffi smugly smiles and reminds Carter that she's still his supervisor. Steffi says that Carter's on thin ice, and defending the Logans is not helping. Steffi turns back to Hope and warns her to stay away from Finn. Steffi departs. Carter informs Hope that Steffi is way out of line. Carter resolves not to stand for it. Hope pleads with Carter not to get in the midst. Carter isn't going to allow anyone to speak down to Hope. Carter boldly proclaims he's got Hope's back. Hope's heartfelt sacrifice, surrenders her line to support Carter's ambitious plan? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates reveal Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, harbors some provocative views regarding the future of Forrester creations. He believes that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, is being overly cautious and losing out on opportunities that could lead to remarkable rewards. The Bold and the Beautiful, Why Play It Safe? Carter believes it's time to break free from the confines of caution and start thinking on a grander scale. He contends that taking calculated risks is essential for growth, seeing no reason to play it so safe. By pursing the mergers and acquisitions he envisions, Forrester Creations could ascend to the pinnacle of luxury branding. Carter sees immense potential for profit if they adopt his ambitious strategy for the Forrester brand, and spelled out his reasons. However, realizing this vision will demand significant financial investment, which may lead to resistance from Steffi and Ridge Forrester. B&B Carter Walton insists Hope Logan for the future needs additional funding. 
Carter has been vocal about the need for hope for the future to receive more than just time, he has advocated for increased funding to assure its revival. Now, he intends to breathe new life into the jewelry line and pursue various other ventures that could significantly impact the Forrester finances. If Ridge and particularly Steffi oppose Carter's ambitions, will Hope be willing to make a personal sacrifice for him? What if she decides to relinquish her line to provide the necessary resources for Carter's ambitious vision? Even if her contribution is modest, it could serve as a powerful symbol of her trust in Carter's intentions. The bold and the beautiful might hope Logan give up her line to free up more money? Hope may be ready to relinquish her baby and send a powerful message to Steffi in the process. With Carter advocating for a fresh vision, Hope could demonstrate her willingness to move on from the past. Given Steffi's repeated threats to cut Hope for the future, it would be a captivating reversal if Hope chose to give it up willingly. This act could serve as a significant sacrifice to support Carter and strengthen their bond, placing her money where her mouth is, so to speak. Upcoming spoilers indicate that Carter will keep making thrilling predictions about Forrester's future, so don't miss out on whether he will have the opportunity to help the company prosper. Steffi Forrester makes shocking power play. This week on The Bold and the Beautiful, all hell is poised to break loose at Forrester Creations. Soap say fans won't want to miss an instant of the drama. Steffi Forrester is poised to make a shocking announcement that could really hurt her family's pockets. Here's what's coming up next on BNB, keep reading for all the details. The Bold and the Beautiful Steffi Forrester makes waves on Bold and the Beautiful. Queen Steffi has been a ticking time bomb at Forrester Creations, and Hope Logan has been walking on eggshells attempting to save Hope for the future. According to BNB, Steffi will make a shocking announcement in the boardroom that will create pandemonium. There are only one of two things Steffi could do. Either she's going to eliminate HFTF or fire Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor. Bold and the beautiful spoilers, Steffi Forrester makes shocking power play. Regardless of which move Steffi makes, the other is a given. If she fires Carter Walton, his new companion Hope Logan will most likely walk away from Forrester for good and take hope for the future with her. The problem is, Hope's mother has become very lucrative for the Forrester family since the relaunch of her lingerie company. If Hope Logan depart, whether forcefully or on her own accord, Brooke's bedroom could also walk out the door. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest that if Steffi's big announcement is that hope for the future is axed, then Carter Walton will most likely quit. Losing Carter could actually harm Foresters more than losing Hope and Brooke combined. After all, he's the man in charge of their finances. BNB Spoilers, Ridge Forrester Takes Sides Regardless of what Steffi does in the boardroom, her father Ridge Forrester, Torsten K., will support her decision and that will only make things more complicated at the office and at home at the Forrester Mansion. After all, whatever Ridge does at the office, he has to answer to at home when he confronts Brooke Logan. Taylor's Heart News for Ridge, Hope's Epic Blunder with Steffi the bold and the beautiful reveal that Taylor Hayes will have some crucial health updates to share with Ridge Forrester. It sounds like Taylor will spill some news following another appointment with Dr. Grace Buckingham, so Ridge will surely want all the info he can get. Taylor is suffering from fractured heart syndrome, but will her latest lab results reveal that she's getting better or worse? Let's hope Taylor's making progress toward a healthier heart since she's been taking her meds, aligning her chakras and doing everything in her power to rehabilitate. Of course, spending all this extra time with Ridge has no doubt been beneficial to Taylor as well. No matter what Taylor reveals to Ridge on Wednesday's BNB episode, our predictions point to some intimate moments between the exes. In the meantime, Hope Logan will make the worst mistake imaginable at the office. We'll see Hope make an epic blunder, one that will no doubt provoke Steffi Forrester's, Jacqueline McKinnis Wood, vengeful wrath. Since Hope feels like Steffi continually makes things personal, she might deliver a low blow about her rival's personal life. Hope might take a jab about Steffi having to move on with John Finn Finnegan since she couldn't retain Liam Spencer's attention. Then again, Hope might dig up ancient history and shove it in Steffi's face that she slept with Liam's father, Bill Spencer, or something along those lines. 
Whatever the case, Hope could end up implying she's not the first person to sleep around and fan the flames of her feud with Steffi in the process. It's even conceivable Hope will get riled up enough to confirm her secret romance with Carter Walton. If so, that news is bound to cause more mayhem at Forrester Creations. No matter how it all goes down, the bold and the beautiful say Hope and Steffi's rivalry is about to take another disastrous turn, Ridge makes a decision behind Steffi's back and Carter comes to Hope's defense. In Forrester's design office, Brooke informs Steffi they were discussing Carter's proposal. Steffi claims she was just speaking to her father and grandfather about it. Carter queries what they had to say, I and the main office, Eric tells Ridge it feels funny to have to go against a notion of Carter's. Ridge says this was different, this was enormous. They agree it's not appropriate for Forrester. A knock arrives at the door, and Ivy and Elector come in. They rush over to hug the two males. Ridge can't get over Elector being grown up. Eric's so pleased the two of them are there. The more Forrester's here, the better. Ridge understands they have some big notions for the jewelry line. Eric invites Ivy to make her proposal to Ridge right now. Ridge would love to hear what she has to say. Ivy questions Ridge, even though your daughter already turned it down? In the design office, Steffi informs Carter his ideas are bigger and riskier than a new line. Carter believes it would be worth it. Hope believes his ideas deserve consideration. Steffi eyes Hope and tells Carter to be cautious with her. She wouldn't be surprised if the only reason she's supporting him is to keep her line alive. Jacqueline McKinnis would drops fashion display. Hope complains about Steffi being offensive. Brooke asks if she really believes her daughter would stoop so low as to take advantage of Carter. Steffi says she'll do anything to get what she desires. She's Carter's friend and is watching out for him. Hope says he's her friend too, that's why he has her support. Carter says he believes in hope for the future because it's beneficial for the company. Hope chimes in that she supports Carter's proposal because it's beneficial for the company. Carter informs Steffi that Forrester needs to evolve. Steffi says he knows where she stands. He queries about Eric and Ridge. Steffi says he can speak to them himself. Carter will show them what he's been working on. Hope's confident they'll listen instead of just shutting him down. Steffi narrows her gaze and asks for a moment alone with Hope. In the main office, Ivy informs Ridge she's been sketching since she heard Quinn had left and has drawn up a business plan. He knows the remainder of the story. Ridge says Steffi didn't believe it was the right time to relaunch it. Ivy believes that Steffi turning down the proposal is personal. Ridge requests to see her portfolio. After looking, Ridge informs Ivy it's impressive. Ivy wishes Forrester to have its own unique, distinct take on jewelry. Ridge says it's very different than what they've had before. He hands back the portfolio. Ivy tells him they appreciate his time. Ridge believes it would be wise to restart the line. Eric agrees, it would be a major mistake not to. Ivy and Electra celebrate. Ridge assures them he'll talk to Steffi. Eric chortles that this is how you create a legacy. In the cutting room, Brooke informs Carter the last thing she expected to see today was him half-naked on top of her daughter. Carter giggles. That's not how they wanted her to find out. Brooke warns that Hope's had a hard time lately. Carter cares profoundly about Hope and would never do anything to hurt her. If he didn't believe he could be the man she deserves, he'd walk away. He goes on that he's always revered Hope and what she stands for. He lists her attributes. Brooke repeats that she's having a very challenging time going back to her relationship with Liam Ending. She complains that Hope forgave him numerous times, but when she made an error, he ended their marriage. They discuss Hope and Thomas. Brooke believes she liked his loyalty, but couldn't marry him. Now, Steffi keeps threatening to yank her line and it's personal. Everything is personal with Steffi. If he really wants to be in Hope's life, he can't waver. Carter says she can lean on him and he won't stir. She'll never have to doubt his loyalty. I can promise you that. More, BNB star previews coming aftershocks. In the design office, Steffi informs Hope that Carter's sudden defense of her and her line isn't making sense. What's going on with the two of you? 
Hope says their friends and colleagues. Steffi has always respected Carter's business acumen and instincts, but now, not so much. Hope says this is Carter they're talking about, how often have his instincts been wrong? She complains that he's always had big ideas but maybe felt he couldn't share them because they'd land on deaf ears. Steffi says Carter is always heard there. He's part of their family. Hope snaps, then maybe you should believe in him. Steffi squints, like you? Why do you believe in him? She asks if Hope's belief in Carter is just a ploy to get her line off the chopping block. In the main office, Brooke and Ridge kiss. He tells her there's a lot to ponder about lately. Brooke saw Ivy leaving. Ridge says Electra was with her. He looked at their portfolio and it's really good. He's planning to ask Ivy to reboot the jewelry line. Brooke thought Steffi rejected it. Ridge will speak to her. She asks if he'll also speak to her about all the threats she's making to Hope and her line. Ridge says they're not threats. This is business, you've seen the numbers. Brooke has and acknowledges it's a lull, but it will bounce back. Ridge hopes so, and so does Steffi. Brooke queries if Steffi does. Ridge brings up Hope kissing Finn. Brooke assures him it won't happen again, she's no longer interested in him. Life in Pictures Heather Tom's son Zane In the design office, Hope informs Steffi her accusations are unethical. Steffi says that doesn't mean they're not genuine. Hope would never take advantage of Carter. Steffi points out she took advantage of her brother, and then kissed her spouse. She'll do whatever it takes to get what she wants. Hope made a blunder and it will never happen again. She has no feelings for her spouse and it will never happen again. Carter listens at the door as Steffi warns if she ever breaches the line with Finn again. She and her line are done. Carter shouts, enough. He asks Steffi if she's using her powers as co-CEO to threaten Hope. You have no right to speak to her that way. She was wrong to kiss Finn, but she can't use her position to chastise her. The division harms the company. Brooke and Hope's contributions over the years are the very things she and her family benefit from. Steffi, looking amused, says she's always encouraged everyone to share their views, but despite his feelings about the decisions she makes as CEO, I'm still your boss. Some of the things he's been doing recently are fairly questionable. Him defending Hope and Brooke isn't helping. She says to Hope, I'm warning you. Stay away from Finn. She walks out. Carter informs Hope that Steffi's way out of line and he won't stand for it. He won't let anyone talk down to her. He'll always be there to defend her. Carter catches Steffi threatening Hope, Ridge hires Ivy and Electra. The Bold and the Beautiful reveals that Brooke Logan assisted Carter Walton and Hope Logan cover with Steffi Forrester in the design office. Steffi kept demanding to know what was going on, but Brooke said they were just chatting about the earlier meeting and Carter's expansion plans. Steffi acted like Carter's ideas were too ambitious to become a reality and ultimately warned him to be cautious with Hope. After Steffi said she wouldn't be surprised if Hope was only backing Carter to keep her line alive, Brooke was offended and wondered if Steffi honestly believed Hope would stoop so low. Steffi obviously did think that, but Carter insisted he supported Hope for the future because he believed in it. After Steffi hinted about Ridge Forrester, Torsten Kay, and Eric Forrester, John McCook, believing Carter's plan was a tall order, she urged him to speak to her father and granddad himself. Steffi ultimately pushed for a moment alone with Hope and asked her what was going on with Carter since his sudden defense of her line didn't tally up. Elsewhere, Carter made a speech to Brooke about how Hope would never have to doubt his loyalty. There would never be a day when Hope didn't have Carter's support. Back with Steffi, she resumed grilling Hope about the strange Carter situation. Hope argued they were just friends and colleagues, before defending Carter's luxury brand proposition. Steffi asked if Hope believed in Carter because of his big ideals, or to get Hope for the future off the chopping block. Hope maintained she'd never take advantage of Carter, but Steffi countered that she took advantage of Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, by using him as a rebound. Hope also went after John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, so Steffi ranted about that and made it plain that the only reason Hope's line was alive was because of her. 
If hope crossed the line again, then she was done, and so was hope for the future. Carter overheard Steffi menacing hope and barged in as he declared that was enough. After Carter suggested Steffi was abusing her authority as CEO, he warned her to stop threatening the Logans and start appreciating their contributions. Steffi heard Carter out, but she ultimately insisted she was still his supervisor and that he'd been doing some questionable things lately. Defending Hope and Brooke wasn't helping matters as far as Steffi was concerned.